Hello, hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm an Illumins Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. I hope you're doing well today. So today I wanna to talk to you about some of the changes coming up for Twin Flames and some of the things that you might be hearing and seeing out there and you know, maybe debunking a few things that are misunderstandings or misconcepts out there. So to start with, you're entering into a time where I got this message from my local library, a universe of stories, exciting upgrades ahead, exciting upgrades ahead. So you better believe, and do you see there, they've got sort of a little picture of Saturn here. Okay. Now this is about their reading club, but what you're going to find is that there really is a universe of stories because you are going through changes. You're going to go through a lot more changes. So even the things that you think you've been through already, things that you might call stages, those are just parts of the fourth dimension and leaving. There's a lot more to come. And I know a lot of people are saying, you know what? I'm, uh, yeah, there's, there's more. Yes, but wait, there's more. There's an entire universe of stories and exciting upgrades ahead. What are some of those? Well, it has had to do with your cosmic, which can also be called your quantum entanglements, cosmic entanglements, who you've known, who you've been with, people that feel like something. They don't, don't feel like a karmic partner. They may not feel like a karmic partner to your twin flame. They are cosmic soulmates. They are part of the quantum cosmic entanglement. Say goodbye to cosmic soulmates because there will be a lot of parting of the ways. And as that happens, your body is changing. This is particularly true of people in female bodies who you could call the feminine, but even if you're a lesbian, even if you identify as uh, the masculine, if you have a female body, your body will be going through a lot of changes. Uh, transformation. Some of it is very baffling, but I know all about it and I help people with that. I help people with the changes, with surges, with the moon cycles, with a lot of things because that also has to do with cosmic entanglements. You may not know who you've been or what kind of body you've had in other places, but your body here is going to go through changes so that you don't carry the heaviness of the past with you. There was another go around of this to ensure that things are cleared, purified, and of course, the exciting upgrades ahead can take place for you. Now, what does this mean? Uh, what this means for a lot of people is the sex has to change. So some of that is going to be patterns, patterns of relationship. It will particularly be marital, marital patterns. It will be um, abuse patterns. A lot of people will be healing things from the past that might be very, very baffling for them. And the next thing to tell you about is the masculine is pulling out of the old paradigm. So I talked about this. Uh, recently, and it had a lot to do with the masculine having sort of the weight of the worlds on the shoulders and finally getting to set it down and being able to break free, being able to get away from the entanglements, being able to stop taking care of certain things that other people should take care of, getting uh, rid of being overextended, and both the feminine and masculine go through that. Where have you been overextended? Where has your energy been expended out into history in your past lives? Where is it? Because you need all of you for you. And if you're feeling like a lot of tension and you feel like a pressure cooker, you're feeling a lot of energies around your head, headaches, head pressure, head buzzing, your neck, um, up here, shoulders, there's things going on that you cannot ignore and you should not ignore. But I am the person who knows how to shift that, who knows how to get it moving for you. 
get it where it needs to go and get it sort of what I call right-sized and balanced. Why? Because they're here being loved. You have to be able to function. You have to be able to be fully present and fully here. Now, what about some of the other things about sex? These are going to be dynamics that sometimes are very painful and sometimes we don't notice until things start to shift. So if you have someone and, you know, they're accustomed to things being in a certain way, da -da 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 -da, look at me, look at me, okay? We have a lot of attention. We have a lot of attention. And, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. This is going to be so much fun. I have three men fighting over me. Do they look like they're fighting? No. Hey, dude. Hey. Hey. Uh, what are you doing here? Um, yeah, I, I could ask you the same thing. Oh, my goodness. Everybody's showing up in the same place. They're fighting over me. Somehow there's some delusion. Maybe if I push some buttons, I could get some drama out of this. Maybe I could get a few fireworks. After all, he's good for something. And he's good for something, and he's good for something. But they're good for three different things because we're piecing it together. And this is one of the very simple ways that the masculine is pulling out of the old paradigm. They're no longer there to prop up some of these old dynamics. What are some of these old dynamics? Well, I only get a phone call when there's some sort of a crisis and there is something that needs fixing. And, um, well, um, sometimes apparently her work doesn't pay her quite enough and she winds up short. So she asked me to help out and I'm happy to do it. We're friends after all. And, you know, I really, really like her. In fact, I want to marry her. But you hear the other side of it. Oh my goodness, he's totally in love with me. He's totally in love with me and he'll do anything I say. He'll just, I don't know, it's just like almost like he wants to. So I just give him things to do. He wants to help me out financially and he understands me. And what's, what's wrong with it if he's willing to give, okay? But is it overextending someone and is it actually a healthy pattern? And then you have someone else who is kind of floats in and out. Oh my God, you're so handsome. I just can't believe your eyes sometimes. Yeah, I get that a lot. I do. Um, so why don't I call you around 3 a.m. and maybe we can hook up. Oh my God. Yeah, okay. All right. All right. I'll be seeing you. Okay. Oh, oh okay. All right. And what are we having here? Boy, she is so easy. She could actually be waiting and waiting, but I'll see what other offers come up for the evening. And if not, I'm pretty sure I can call her and she'll be available. But I don't know. We connect, and then it's like she winds up boring me. I don't know what that's all about. I don't really feel like using her. She's such a nice lady. But I also suspect I'm not the only person. I just don't know if I should invest in this. I, I can feel like there's an attraction. I kind of get a little bit of that, but, oh, I don't know. I, I just don't know, like, what'll happen. What if there's someone else she's interested in? And, yeah, I better just play it cool and keep it keep it on the down low. Call her, like, you know, when I'm sure and, I don't know, when I got a little buzz going on and I think I can just call and, you know, we'll just see about hooking up. And you see, there's no permanency. It's way too freeform. Everybody is just kind of like hanging around and nobody's really committing and nobody is really feeling. They're not what sure what to feel. They're not sure about feeling themselves or even what they feel. They can't sense the other person. And sometimes people can't sense themselves or sense what is going on or even what they themselves are doing to other people? What position are they putting each other in? These two are keeping each other off balance. 
She keeps him off balance. He keeps her way off balance. She doesn't even know where she stands, but she sure likes him. Then you have another person, very steadfast, very loyal. Oh, hey, how are you? Hey, thanks so much for bringing my car to get the oil changed. I really appreciate it. You know, you're so good. Like, you know, someone, someone ought to mirror you. <laughs> well, I was hoping that you would go out with me. And I really, really enjoyed our time together. Oh, yeah, but, you know, I, I just, I don't know. I'm just not really, oh, how do I say this? Like, I think that I'm still, oh, oh I don't know. Like, do you know? No, I don't know what you're telling me. Could you just tell me? I don't want to have to guess. Well, you know how women are. I, I just, I want to make sure. Make sure what? I'm already helping you. Well, we had a good time together, and but sometimes I just don't feel a connection. Oh, I see. Well, when do you feel connection? Well, there's times we feel connected, but I just don't really. And, um... Well, let me, let me get back to you. I'm going to think about it. Well, what's to think about? Either you like me or you don't. I mean, you, I, I just, I'm helping you because I thought we like each other. I would, I would like some help. I would like, and what's not happening? Some reciprocity, give and take, or is it all take, take, take? Is it out of balance? And these are old dynamics because in the past, each person would get something out of the deal. But what happens here? What's really going on? I really like her. And somehow I sense like she is just, I don't know. She seems very flighty. She's a little distracted. I don't know if it's her work. I don't know if she has her monthly. I don't know if she has daddy issues. I just don't know. Why, why can't she just tell me? So his mind is attributing all these things, but he can't really feel. He can't feel what it is. And for her, there she is. Wow, he is such a nice guy, but he's almost too nice. But oh my goodness, he is like a stallion. He is amazing, but then I get bored. It's like every time we're together, it's like something starts to come, but then... It just fades away and he starts to feel like my brother. Why would he feel like my brother? I mean, he's such a nice guy. He's well built, but, but, and these are dynamics that happen all over. They happen within relationships. They happen in the dating scene. And I have news for you people. Even the dating scene is going to shift around because this has to change. Your body is changing to keep pace with the growth that is happening here, the maturity, and the changes coming up for twin flames. So even if you don't know, am I a twin flame? More than likely, if you've ever had to ask the question, 90% you are. The second thing to know is, even though we could say twin flame, twin flame, twin flame, you are here to receive the template the brand new template for the body. You're receiving a brand new life body template. It is the template of relationship from 5D. And this determines that the sex has to change. It is elevating. It's intended to get better. It's intended to give people more of what you could call a spiritual relationship. It is intended to bring you further into union. And that means unification. So the masculine energy is no longer propping up some of these things. Men themselves are also intuitive and become very well aware of the nuances within their relationships with people. Sometimes they feel a little bit like a hunter, like in the sense that they can intuit, they go with their gut feeling. Females too. If you've never been in a relationship with a man, you're going to be able to know, but the relationship to the masculine is also a part of you. That's a part of your energy. So what is the one thing she's not engaging here? She's not engaging her own masculine to take action on things that she can, to start making changes that she can, to maybe stop 
using old patterns and start with some new relationships. Why? Because the body is changing. She can't plug in in the same way. She cannot let the people um, feel off balance. She's going to feel off balance. The whole thing's going to be teetering. This is another version of those tower moments where, you know, everything feels like this. It's like a moving target. Where do I stand? What are we doing? Did you hand it off to me? Am I keeping this? Am I not keeping it? And in this energy, you're going to have a lot of twin flame confusion. Why? Because the cosmic entanglement have bunched everyone up, have congregated everyone together to where sometimes we don't know where we end and another person begins. But getting disentangled is what I help people with. With your relationships, how to manage your relationships properly and in a new way, and through my energy sessions. My causal body session is particularly helpful, especially for women. When you are going through changes, when things need to change for you, if there is um, a lot of things here. So the masculine energy, the feminine energy, the sexual relations, which is also relationship relations. Okay, this is not just sex. It's how do you relate? It is how do you relate to the same sex, to the opposite sex, and the changes that your body is going through so that you don't perpetuate things because this is not going on in perpetuity. So if you've had a, you know, a breakthrough with some things, there is more. There's more coming up for you that we will be going through from June through September. It has a lot to do with your cosmic healing and clearing. And that is something that not everyone is going to be able to help you with. I help with that because I have those levels. I am a ninth through 12th dimensional healer, as I've said. And I do help people with this. And there is a brand new level. And I do talk about this in my book, ebook three, Twin Flame Body, Ascension, Sleep, which does address through some of your patterns, some of the traumas you may have had. And not everything is for you to see, but it is for you to release. And that's one of the key differences. So a lot of times people go ahead and they do things like this. Okay. Well, I know what things are because I went ahead and I checked a bunch of numbers and I checked a bunch of astrology and I checked a bunch of this and a bunch of that. And then uh, there was a card. And so it is so. And so mode it be. Oh, um, sorry, still not feeling it. What? How could you not be feeling it? I mean, I triple checked. I quadruple checked. I checked and checked and checked. But maybe one place you didn't check was where is the cosmic alignment? Okay, is this just an earth alignment? And saying it doesn't always make it click together. What's missing? What's missing is a lot of the heart energy. So if people are too much up in their head, and this happens quite a bit, we all enjoy certain things. You know, sometimes we like to look in the newspaper and see, hey, what's our thing today? And sometimes we like to just get some answer that makes sense and get a card. But who are you merging with? You are merging a body. You're merging your body with another body. You're actually even ditching your head and all the stuff that here on earth we've used to, you know, make sense of things, which is another change that is coming up. Some of the things that may have been a stepping stone for you to help you along your journey, it might not work anymore. And it's okay because what's supposed to work is your body. You are intended to open up your inner and your outer channels to connect only with your true love. Those are the channels that help you reciprocate the love back and forth, that help you feel only each other and not be empathic with the world. How many people are tired of being 
an empathic star seed, feeling everything from everybody, everybody under the sun, and then some. How many people? A lot of you. A lot of you. How many people are aware that they have to increasingly find ways to ground themselves because this energy is just too intense? But let me tell you, in my books, I have very simple ways for you to do this. I have supplements to take. I have information on essential oil, and I have, if you are going through sleep disturbances, pay attention because I have the information about sleeping in your new light body in here. In fact, that's a whole chapter, sleeping in your new light body. Why? Because when you sleep is when you do break away from the world. It is when your body is at its most relaxed. So when she is able to relax herself, and the mind isn't at work, she's able to glean more quite organically. That means through her organs, through the body, because the body is changing and your body is sentient. Your body wants to heal itself. Your body doesn't want to have to do all these maneuverings and um, strategy and manipulations and second guessing and being off balance. How many of you have felt off balance by someone, your family, your parents, a teacher you had. How many of you have said, I just don't know where I stand. I'm utterly confused. And you might think it's a tactic. And many times it's just a pattern. It's not a tactic that someone's going, <laughs> let me see how I can throw them off balance. Although some people do, and I don't rule it out. However, how do you not let even that kind of stuff affect you. There's a lot of talk out there about, you know, mission, what twins are here to do, okay? The main thing you're here to do is unify yourself. That means putting your subtle bodies together. That means allowing your body to change, going through transformation, learning how to roll with the changes coming up because it will always be like that. You've been in a very slow version of it, but come 2020, there's going to be some things that ramp up. you got to get ready now. Start getting the metaphysical side of you ready. Sex. A lot of people are convinced that sex or uh, some level of tantric relationship is the end-all be-all. It is not. There is more, people. There's more, and it encompasses more of you. And it enables you to feel things that you have never felt because that is the newness of the body. Do you want to stay in the old paradigm? So many times I say to people, hey, do you, uh, is this your last karmic life? Oh, yeah, I never want to come back here again. Good. Do you want to stay in the old paradigm, though? Because we're closing the door on it very rapidly here. Do you want to keep all those old things? Or do you want your new stuff and just some of your favorite things? How do you do that, though? You know, if you were going, gosh, what do I keep? What do I keep from this star system or that star system? If you're a star seed, what do you do? Well, the good news is it's packed in you. I help you bring it out. I help you through the causal body session and you can certainly do some of your own work. And I do encourage you. Actually, I encourage people to get both things. Twin flame body, ascension, sleep, and love to help with any traumas. You might not be able to identify anything. Anything from a fall off your bicycle where it was a, maybe a physical trauma to being someplace where a volcano erupted and everyone was in a dead panic and many people were lost. Those are the kind of traumas that leave a lasting mark on your emotional body and on parts of you. It's also happened in other places. Now, if you're interested in this kind of work and you really do want to help people, and there's going to be a first level of helping people because more people will be woken up after the Lion's Gate in August. So we're going from June till August. After that, more wake-ups. So if you've been looking around saying, when are the rest of the people waking up? What about my family? What about my kids? This is sometimes a fear people have. They say, but I love 
certain people. I love my friends. I love my family. I love my kids. When do they get to? It's going to be happening. And so if you want to be one of the people that is available to help them, I have a Twin Flame Body Practitioner course. And it is specific for the new body template because that is the thing people are doing here. It is the integration of the new body template, which is the template of relationship from 5D. It doesn't happen through a lot of talking either. Although people do like to have someone to talk to. I certainly talk to people. I talk to people in the session. I reach out to people and say, hey, how did you like my book? Would you like another book? Well, give me a little feedback. But if you are interested in more one-on-one, -on -one, hands-on, because I will be going and traveling to teach people the hands-on part of the twin flame body. Why? Because there are two energies with it. It's that person and whoever their true love is. So there's two energies. This is not fourth dimensional. This is teaching people to be a fifth dimensional healer amongst fourth dimensional people who are, yes, going through the ascension. So it's those of you who have been awoken and activated so that you could be the advanced people and turn around and help some people. So if you've said to yourself, I'd love to help humanity, I'd love to do something, and the very first part is you started unifying yourself so that your love could be expressed in a certain way. Yes, some people will be musicians. Some people will be real estate agents. Some people will be mechanics. But the cosmic stuff requires new healers. New healers at a new level because this is new. And you're going to go through it first. So check the links below. If you are not sure, email me. If you have questions, twinflamesmerge at gmail.com. I will email you back. But I encourage you to have a session with me. The causal body one is extremely helpful right now before the solstice. We are coming up to the solstice and there is going to be still more things that you're doing. And the intention is to get people physically together. Even when you are physically together, unifying yourselves is still important because that's how you stay together. Okay. It's not what gets you together. It's the staying together so that you're not going through separation anymore and getting deep. So you are merging with another person, a live person. You're not merging with a deck of cards. You're not merging with your crystals. You're not merging with your pendulum. Those are great tools, but you're intended to be kissing. So it's time, it's going to be time this year to get to the kissing season and eclipse season but let's turn it into the kissing season and bring the love back because, yes, all of the manipulations or patterns we've had to have, they don't really serve anymore. You'll feel that you've transcended it. It may feel slightly juvenile to you, and you'll distinctly be moving along, but with a greater ability to manifest, to be causal, not cause and effect, not where you're provoking or reacting, but creating. So thanks so much for watching, and the links are down below. Please reach out if you have questions, and please check it out. If you are in an area that you would like me to visit, please reach out and let me know, because I am looking for uh, places, generally a metro area, and where you would like to learn and you know, just let me know. Write me an email. Thanks so much and have a wonderful day. I will be back with more. Bye.